I mean, I get banged up a little bit in every game, <laughs> but it's nothing major, so I'm okay. good. Okay. How how tough is it? You guys are kind of short-handed at linebacker right now, kind of pushing through that with with everybody. I mean, it's tough. It's just you got we see the field more, and it's not a lot of rotation no more because a, a lot of guys are down. So we just got to push through, just keep fighting. So that's pretty much all this all it is. How many times between you and your brother have you guys been like? moved around between outside and inside. You're now inside and he's inside too. Is that how it's working? Yeah, I moved from I moved outside to inside during the end of fall camp and my brother just moved to outside a couple weeks ago and he just got moved back to inside cuz uh, somebody had went down in our room so he had to come back. Are you more comfortable inside or outside? Does it matter to you? I like playing inside more, but whatever they need me to do, I'm going to do. Why is that? What do you like? Why do I like cuz it allows me to like run more, like use my athleticism more. So I feel like that's good because I get to play the run and play the pass a lot. So that's good. I think Coach Kelly was talking about a lot of missed tackles these past two weeks. What have you guys done to kind of address that? We just been, we've been uh, trying to work on our technique, hone in on our technique, and we're not going to stop. So we just got to, our efforts there, we just got to uh, make sure that we use the right technique when we're tackling. Do you, are you focusing on the smaller things more these past two weeks? Because it seems like tackling has been, been a really big issue these last yeah. two we're doing the same tackling drills. We're just trying to hone in on our technique, really. In what ways do the, co- do the coaching staff, like, do they try to enforce those ideas about using proper technique and kind of critiquing them and practicing things? Uh, during, like, team periods or something, you just hear, like, keep your leverage or leverage, leverage, and that, just things like that, just little things like that. So it's just in the back of your mind while you're playing. This is a homecoming game for Coach Kelly. How much do you guys want to win it for him to go back to Oregon? It's just another game. I want to win every game. I'm pretty sure everybody on our team wants to win every game just as bad. So I don't know. It's not nothing different with Oregon. Is there any, game. I'm sorry. Is there anything distinguishing between the two inside the linebacker spots, different assignments, anything? It's pretty much the same thing. It's just uh, two different guys. Different plays, you'll have a different assignment on the side, on whatever side. But it's pretty much the same thing. Like You can flip-flop and know exactly what you're doing. Now, you... You played alongside McKinney last week, I think, mm-hmm. inside. Yes, sir. Was that the first time you guys had done that? Nah, well, it happened against Cal, Cal okay. as well, okay. inside. We were both inside. What's it like just being able to share share the field with your brother? I mean, it's nothing new. We've been doing it. It's been years coming, so it's just different now that it's on this stage. But all throughout high school, we were side by side, so it's nothing really new to me or us. So it's the same thing. How many uh, – or did you go to any? Yeah, I went to a bunch. Uh, my family always had season tickets, so always got to watch them at least two or three times a year, it seemed like. What was the atmosphere like? Uh, really fun. We always had explosive players, so the crowd was always going nuts, and it was always a good time. That's just how I know Austin Stadium, so I'm excited to go back. A lot of these guys, oh, a lot of these guys haven't been to Austin Stadium. What do you tell them about going there? Um, nobody's really asked me about it, honestly, but I mean, if they ask, I'd say it's a really good game day atmosphere, and there's a lot of energy, and it'll be fun, and won't be uh, hard to get hyped up for, that's for sure. What do you say the volume level is compared to the other stages you've been to? Um, louder than pretty much any of them, except for like Oklahoma, maybe. Loud for sure. Growing up, is that where you kind of felt you were going to go? Um, I don't know. I never knew if I was going to be you know, good enough to go to a big school like that or not, but um, I just felt like it was right for me to go away down here and um, grow up on my own, so I don't know. When you were growing up, were you thinking that you'd ideally maybe like to play for Chip Kelly at Oregon? Was that kind of a thing you, you'd like? Yeah, I definitely, that would have been a dream, like, because uh, Jeff Miller was my favorite receiver growing up, and so seeing him under Coach Kelly, I always thought that would be really cool. And when he came here, the year that it was for me to sign, it just seemed like it was a perfect fit, so... What do you think will be the reception for him back there? What's that? What, will be the re- what do you think will be the reception for Coach Kelly back there? Among the fans? Um, I don't know. I think it'll be uh, more energy than any other game for them, at least for fans. So we'll see. I have no idea. How do you think the receivers group has done so far this season? It seemed like you were surging there for a while, and then you had a little bit of problem with the drop season last week. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's hit or miss. You know, uh, everyone has their good and bad days. and. It's just a part of the game. People will drop the ball here and there, but so what? Now what? It's, that's kind of our thing. So this week we've just been working on catching a little more and getting better uh, these last two days. In what ways do you work on catching in, in practice that are different? Um, 
like we'll just do more like low balls, high balls, and then we'll do like distraction drills. Yesterday we were running by a bunch of bags and you throw it through different holes and you have to figure it out and catch it last second. So just harder, more um, distraction drills. Yeah. What kind of consistency does Theo bring to that receiving group? I see, you know, like he, he got his 100 catch, catch at UCLA last week. So what kind of consistency does he bring to you guys? Um, Theo, I mean, he's always, he knows he's a man and uh, he knows he has to produce. And, he has a good mindset going into every week, I think, and he's always calm. You know, you never, you never like, oh, Theo seems nervous. You know, and he's a pretty mellow guy, but he gets us going. And he had a couple good catches in the second half that got everyone excited on the sideline. So hopefully, he does the same for us this week. How many uh, friends and family will you have at the game? Um, a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably know over like probably a couple hundred people there. Oh, wow. So we'll see. Everyone's texting me this week, so it'll be exciting. <laughs> You'll have, you'll have a bigger cheering section than Coach Kelly. Yeah, I mean, they'll be spread out, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> you can't exactly get a couple hundred tickets. Yeah, no, uh, I probably only need like 15 or 20 tickets. That's, that's the point, just for immediate family and stuff like that.